The James Webb Space Telescope has once again reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. This time, astronomers have uncovered mysterious little red dots, LRDs, in deep sky surveys, objects that could hold the key to how supermassive black holes formed in the early universe. These small, highly redshifted objects have sparked curiosity among scientists, revealing unexpected insights into black hole growth and the birth of galaxies. But what exactly are these cosmic specks? Why are they so different from what we expected? And most importantly, what do they tell us about the early universe? In this video, we will dig deep into this discovery, exploring how these enigmatic dots are changing our understanding of supermassive black holes and galaxy evolution. Webb's deep space surveys have detected numerous small, red-hued objects scattered across the early universe. These little red dots, LRDs, stand out due to their extreme redshift, meaning their light has been stretched over billions of years as the universe expanded. Observing them is like looking back in time to when the universe was only a few hundred million years old. But why are they red? The answer lies in their distance and composition. As light travels from these distant galaxies, cosmic expansion stretches it into the infrared range, making Webb the perfect tool for detecting them. What makes these LRDs so unusual is their compact size and infrared brightness, while emitting very little in X-rays and radio waves. This is highly unusual because growing galaxies typically contain active supermassive black holes, AGN, which shine brightly in these wavelengths. Scientists were puzzled by this contradiction. How could objects that appear similar to AGNs be missing key emission signatures? One clue lies in their highly broadened spectral lines which indicate gas moving at speeds exceeding 1,000 kilometers per second around a central region. This strongly suggests that these objects contain actively growing black holes, but unlike typical AGNS, they behave differently. To explore this mystery further, a new study analyzed 12 LRDs, for which Webb had gathered high-resolution spectra. The researchers compared the data to models of supermassive black holes and found that these black holes are embedded in highly ionized, dense galactic clouds. The presence of free electrons in these clouds absorbs much of the X-ray and radio light, explaining the lack of emissions in those wavelengths. The model suggests that LRDs contain black holes with rapidly spinning accretion disks, consuming matter at extreme rates. If the surrounding ionized gas cloud is dense enough to block high-energy emissions, the black hole must generate an enormous amount of energy to make the LRDs visible in red and infrared light. This could mean that these black holes are accreting matter at close to the Eddington limit, the maximum rate before radiation pressure would push incoming material away. The presence of broad spectral lines and fast-moving gas in LRDs strongly suggests that these objects are powered by accreting supermassive black holes, rapidly consuming matter. However, their lack of X-ray and radio emissions challenges the standard AGN model. As the new study suggests, the dense ionized clouds cocooning these black holes absorb high-energy radiation, making them appear as bright infrared dots rather than traditional AGNs. But if this gas cloud is so thick, how do we see the LRDs at all? The answer lies in their intense accretion rates. These black holes are growing at the highest possible speeds, producing extreme amounts of infrared radiation that pierces through the surrounding gas. The study also estimates that the black holes inside LRDs range from 10,000 to 1 million solar masses, much smaller than the fully grown supermassive black holes in modern galaxies. This strongly supports the idea that LRDs are an early stage of black hole evolution, transitioning toward larger AGNs. Interestingly, this model explains why we don't see LRDs in the nearby universe. If these black holes are growing at the Eddington limit, 
they would quickly clear the surrounding ionized gas as they continue consuming matter. As this cloud dissipates, the LRDs evolve into traditional AGNs, becoming the bright quasars and black hole-powered galaxies we observe throughout cosmic history. If this hypothesis is correct, LRDs could represent a crucial missing link in our understanding of black hole formation. It has long been a mystery how black holes in the early universe grew so rapidly in such a short time. LRDs provide a direct glimpse into these earliest growth phases, showing us how some of the largest objects in the universe began their journey billions of years ago. The discovery of little red dots has major implications for how we understand the relationship between galaxies and their central black holes. In the modern universe, a well-established correlation exists between a galaxy's mass and the size of its supermassive black hole. However, LRDs suggest that this relationship was much less predictable in the early universe. Observations indicate that some black holes may have grown much faster than their host galaxies, challenging conventional models that assume a synchronized evolution between the two. If LRDs are an early stage of black hole growth, this means that supermassive black holes may have played a more active role in shaping galaxies, rather than simply evolving alongside them. This discovery also aligns with other recent findings about early black holes. Webb's deep field observations have revealed unexpectedly massive black holes in galaxies that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These observations suggest that some black holes could have reached supermassive sizes extremely quickly, requiring new explanations for how they accumulated so much mass in such a short time. Additionally, astronomers have identified other obscured AGNS supermassive black holes hidden behind thick clouds of gas, similar to what has been proposed for LRDs. One intriguing comparison is the early quasar population. Some distant quasars discovered by Webb exhibit rapid black hole growth patterns, suggesting that early black holes could accumulate mass at extraordinary rates. Similarly, the Jades GSZ-140 galaxy, one of the most distant galaxies ever detected, contains a surprisingly large black hole for its age. These discoveries reinforce the idea that the early universe may have been filled with rapidly growing black holes, fueling the formation of galaxies in ways we don't yet fully understand. What makes LRDs unique, however, is that they appear to bridge the gap between the earliest black hole seeds and the more mature AGNs observed in later cosmic times. Their presence suggests that many early galaxies underwent a hidden growth phase, where black holes accumulated mass while being cocooned inside dense ionized gas. Over time, as these galaxies evolved, the surrounding gas would have been cleared, revealing the more familiar bright quasars and AGNS that we see today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through the early universe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives into the greatest cosmic discoveries. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars.